Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we are doing Chapter 9.2, Transformations. This is a great A star video, so I hope you enjoy it. And let's start talking about how to transform. Doing matrices transformation is basically like um, watching um, Transformers. It's so simple. And if you know um, chapter 9.1 thoroughly, then you don't need to worry about this chapter at all. It's just um, about multiplying fact uh, factors by a matrix. And um, what you do is put the transformation matrix before the factor that you want to change or transform. So, yeah. And yeah, that's it, really. So let's proceed. And yeah, mistakes have been made. Why? Um, I did say last uh, um video uh on two point one say that uh some exceptions of uh multiplication are uh, like. Uh, 2 by 1 times 1 by 2 is forbidden? Actually, it's not. I will explain that right now, right here. So, um, to multiply these, um, you won't see a good way to multiply um, A, B and C, D together because you can't turn 90 degree like you used to be. Uh, this is normal if you look at it like this it's common that people don't know how to um, turn 90 degree but if I add some space in that bracket and in that bracket I can make it this does it look like a 2x2? Two two? hmm let's try it a times nothing times c uh, plus c what no a C plus nothing nothing? Well, nothing nothing is a no term and a no term, so there aren't a term there at all, so you don't have a term, which basically is AC. So that is uh, the left top left corner, and the second one is the same, BC plus no term, which is BC, and um, yeah, let's do this quickly and yeah you got it all and just remove the term and you basically get the answer to this and so that would be equal to AC uh, AD BC BD so it's possible to do a 2 by 1 times a 1 by 2 and I apologize for making that mistakes and I hope that won't happen again so let's resume to examples after I apologized for my mistake. Transform, uh, transform points P, uh, 3, 7, using the matrix 2, 4, 2, 1. Do you remember when I talked through a factor in chapter um, 9.1? I said that a um, 2 by 1 matrix can represent a uh, coordinate. Now that is what we are using it for. Here I have the coordinate uh, put together, x on top, y at the bottom, and you just basically multiply that by the matrix. Remember, matrix goes in front of that point. And uh, in the count of two, I expect you to uh, do this matrix because you have the ability to pause the video. So now the answer is um, 3413. So yeah, so the new point P dash or P, um, not hyphen, never mind, just P quotes um, will be uh, 34 comma and 13. So that is x coordinate 34, y coordinate 13. So yeah, it sounds all right. Being um, advanced to do transform uh, transformation. So 
yeah, I said, it's like watching Transformer, really. It's just boring and, yeah, simple. And so now comes question two, where I combine basically all the things. Um, point M has been transformed by the matrix 3, 2, 1, 2 to form M dash um, 8, 4 coordinate. So now you have to find the coordinate of M. So what you need to do again is to um, make an equation, but how? Instead of putting this as the uh, object um, coordinate, you put a matrix with x, y in it. x, y represent the coordinate, of course, and that is just standard stuff. Multiply that with the matrix to form this complex, and we can't do anything about that because if you remember uh, chapter 9.1, we need an answer to that. But fortunately, we have the answer. They are just equal to 8 and 4. So now it's just simply solving uh, simultaneous equations. And now there is the equations that will be uh, made from this. And after a bit of work, you should be able to get that x, y equals to 2, 1. So the x coordinate will be 2 and the y coordinate will be 1. So that is basically the reverse of transformation. Well, reverse transformation, let's say. Whew, it's only 7 minutes and we are at tips. Time goes, well, slow. <laughs> so yeah, I said it's easy. If you don't believe me, do it yourself. You'll find it easy. So the, my tips, uh, first tip is to be aware when copying out questions. Uh, during uh, the time that I copy out uh, example two, uh, oh, no, example one rather. Wait, <laughs> never mind. I copy out example two, I found that I um, mixed up the bottom two numbers. I used the matrix three, two, two, one instead of one, two. So my simultaneous equation got screwed up to, let's say, two answers. And I have to like check over and over again and found, oh, I made a mistake. So yeah, remember, um, copy it out one by one so that you don't mix them up. Uh, it's really important. Second one is practice makes perfect. Uh, one of the most uh, famous, say, um, not idioms, but sentences, and just do this over and over and over again, you will be able to do it like addition of single digit numbers. So yeah, let's do some questions. So here are five questions of transformation, and they are all just Again, plain old easy, and I will expect you to get them right if you understand chapter 9.1. That is, if you don't get them all right, go back to chapter 9.1 and check the multiplication because the concept is here, and it's just the method that you have to be aware of uh, while doing transformation. So, yeah, in the count of five. You, I will give out the answer. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Answers are given. So question one, remember to give it out as a matrix because I asked, uh, find the matrix. So yeah, in the form of matrix, then give me A equals um, one and B equals one. That will give you any mark. And, um, then yeah, the others are just just simple, really. And yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you learned something, uh, please leave a like and help. It helps me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you next time.